Hey y'all, today we're talking pumpkin. Uh, no, this is not a carving pumpkin. This is a small uh, sugar pie pumpkin, basically. And, uh, and this is the kind we actually cook with. I would not usually recommend cooking with the kind of pumpkin that we grow for carving up. They're just, the, you know, it's just not meant for that. It's gonna be uh, less sweet. So, this is a little pumpkin. You can get them a little bigger. This is usually the size I like to work with. It's a little bit more manageable. But it is gonna be tough because we it is a uh, winter squash, so it has this tougher exterior skin. So make sure that your knife is really super duper sharp. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on its side and I'm gonna actually take off just the very top. So you gotta work a little bit, but my knife was really sharp, so that actually wasn't that bad, which is awesome. Now what I'm gonna do is I can actually set it on that flat surface I just created and it's gonna make it a lot easier for me to cut and a lot safer for me to cut. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna cut it down the middle. And what I like to do is start working my knife in. And if I need to, when I get to this point, actually what I can do is I can lift it up and push down like that. And now you see I got my hand on the knife in a safe way. And so as I lift up, come down, the knife goes further down. Then I can work it the rest. And then it's almost fully done. So. There we go. All right, now we open up the middle. You can see all the sort of membrane and the seeds in here. I'm gonna scoop these out. You can absolutely, and I, have, I do it often, where you actually save the seeds. Um, you can just scoop all the membrane and the seeds into a colander and then rinse with water and get the seeds clean of everything and, uh, and then roast the seeds on their own. So that's really good too. But for today, for our purposes, I'm just gonna scoop everything out and dump it into the trash. So, to get rid of this stuff, I'm using this spoon as best I can to keep getting all these strings. Just a little bit of work, but it's not that bad. You could also use a knife if you wanted to, to, uh, to just cut it out of there. Um, I prefer to use a spoon because, you know, I want to get, I don't want to cut as much, too much away. And a knife is a little bit kind of tricky to use in, a, in like the middle of a, you know, the belly of a pumpkin. So, all right, we're almost there. So I've got all the seeds out and now it's just the strings that I'm working on. I wanna cut this into four more pieces or four pieces total. So I'm gonna cut down the middle like that. Now I have halves. I'm gonna keep them together actually so that this half provides something for this half to push against and then vice versa. And so I'm gonna kind of try and find, um, you know, I, since I've got it in half here, I'm gonna find this kind of 45 degree that I can. And get the knife through the skin and then it goes through the flesh pretty easily. That's one of the things to be careful of when you're cutting things like squash that have, or anything that has a heavier duty skin like this is the first part of the cut is gonna be a little tricky, so it requires a little bit more effort. But once you get through that, you actually wanna back off on how much pressure you're putting because you could inadvertently press too hard and cut through and cut yourself. So you kinda of have to you use the pressure for the beginning and then you back off as it goes through. So, got my four pieces per half, and, uh, and then I'll throw those, I'll package those up, throw them in the fridge, and then when I'm ready to use them, they're gonna go in the oven and uh, roast like that. So that's it, I'm gonna finish off this other half, you don't have to watch that. <laughs> 